Guten Tag and hello folks, welcome to another entry of Destina CGP where once again I speak to you on a Sunday where we just wrapped up the eventful German Grand Prix right here in Sachsenring. As mentioned, it was a very eventful one for us and let's not waste any time. Here's how our German GP weekend went. As always, the weekend kicked off with lights, camera and action, especially for both our GP riders. On top of that, the day also saw Moto3 riders John McPhee and Darren Binder walking and inspecting the circuit with their respective crew chiefs. As did Moto2 rider Jake Dixon. This is a crucial bit of pre-race preparation given that the riders last raced here in 2019. Besides that, Jake and teammate Xavi Vieje also took part in a special photoshoot session organised by German Moto2 constructors Kalex. Temperatures ran high in Germany, but so did spirits within Petrona Sprinter Racing's Moto3 Cam. Both John and Darren set their pace through Friday and Saturday, but it was the Scott who successfully advanced straight into qualifying too. Darren had more to do, but an incident during Saturday's qualifying one saw the crew scramble to rebuild his bike in time for qualifying too. Despite the crew's miraculous effort, penalties by the stewards hampered Darren's efforts, forcing him to settle with a qualifying result of 18th. Instead, it was John who kept his cool and qualified 4th, thus securing his second row starting position. As Sunday's race unfolded, it was yet another Moto3 classic for the ages, but luck did not favour John and Darren once again. Despite fighting in the lead group for most parts, John was forced down the order after having to avoid a collision, eventually crossing the line in 11th. Darren also showed gallant pace, but his right through penalty ultimately caused him to drop further back and finish 14th. Alright, a quick break from all that action because it's time for another round of Meet the Team and this week in Germany, I got to know members of our Moto2 squad fresh from their recent podium celebrations at the Catalan Grand Prix. Here's who they are. Hello, my name is Fausto, I am Xavi Vierges crew chief. I am four years working for Petronas team and it's very exciting to be involved in the World Championship with this big team and that is our big passion inside of the team and it's a big motivation for us. Hello, my name is Carlas, I'm the data engineer for Xavi Vierges and this is my second year in the team and I'm very happy and proud to be part of this big family in the World Championship and represent a brand like uh, Petronas. Like its sister Moto3 squad, Petronas Sprinter Racing's Moto2 outfit were poised to perform well in Germany too. Initially, things got off well, as proven by Xavi's consistent top 6 placements in all practice runs, thus advancing the Catalan into Saturday's qualifying too, where he charted 5th. Having rediscovered his mojo, teammate Jake also demonstrated solid pace through practice. He managed to join his Catalan teammate for qualifying too and placed 15th. As Sunday's race got underway, the squad held its breath, hoping to repeat the same success it charted in Catalonia prior. Alas, luck also didn't favour Xavi in Germany. Despite his solid pace, the Catalan just missed out on another strong points haul when he crashed out from 5th place on the last lap. Jake also saw his efforts hampered by an incident with another rider, thus forcing the Brit to finish out of the points yet again. Ok folks, we're taking a quick break from all that action because it's time for a new kit alert. That's right, we got our hands on some really cool new gear right here in Germany. Let's check it out. Meet the PSRT Velocifero Mad Air Concept Electric Kick Scooter. As you can see, the concept is based off Velocifero's existing Mad Air Electric Kick Scooter model. Fashioned in a replica PSRT livery, this concept features the same bells and whistles that the Mad Air is renowned for. This include a punchy 350W electric motor with a removable 36V rechargeable battery pack, novel digital dash, as well as a front motor with electric brakes and rear disc brake. Through the rollout of the prototype scooters at races, the team will be evaluating a limited edition production run for the future. Keen to have one? Register your interest via the email on screen now. In MotoGP, Petronas Yamaha SRT also seek to turn their fortunes around in Germany. 
As always, both Franco Mobidelli and Valentino Rossi fired up their spirits and the Yamaha M1s under the scorching summer heat and got going. Despite their efforts, both Frankie and Valentino couldn't find their pace throughout all practice sessions as well as Saturday's qualifying one session. Though both riders pushed their M1s to the limits, Frankie was forced to settle with his qualifying result of 18th just behind teammate Valentino in 16th. As the lights went out to start Sunday's 30 lap race, Frankie and Valentino again tried their best pushing lap after lap in the hopes of placing further up the order. Alas, as the checkered flag waved, just Valentino would end up scoring precious points by finishing 14th, whereas Frankie had to settle with no points after finishing 18th. And that is it for this edition of Destinacy GP. Hope you folks enjoyed the behind the scenes and insights from the German Grand Prix in this entry. I need to hit the road now because it's a double header back to back race weekend. We are about to hit the road and head over to our next round in Assen, Holland. Don't forget to check out our next entry from there. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you folks in the next one. Bye.